Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. Well, we have a huge update from both Donald J. Trump and Melania Trump that you don't want to miss. So if you support the Trump family, please thumbs up the video. Comment down below if you stand with Donald J. Trump and Melania Trump. And before we jump in, as always, we're going to read from the Bible because that's what matters right now. Amen. Comment amen if you agree. Okay. This comes from the book of Galatians, chapter 5. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. That's Galatians 5, 22 to 23. And common amen if you believe that the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control i love that i think we all could use some patience right now with everything going on my friends i created a second youtube channel if you could do me one little favor and click sub subscribe i'll have a link below join that channel because i'm posting a lot more often over there and you don't want to miss out so Donald J. Trump and Melania J. Trump, Melania Trump <laughs> are in the news a lot right now, to no surprise. Mel obviously, Donald J. Trump was arrested. He, has, he had his mugshot released. I'm sure you guys have seen it. It broke the internet. Everybody's using it. Laura Trump came out and said that Donald Trump's mugshots are going to be in college dorm rooms across the country. This is an iconic moment in history. And Laura Trump actually said that putting Donald Trump on a mugshot is going to help him for 2024. What do you guys think? Do you believe what Laura Trump had to say about that? I personally do. Donald J. Trump had a few things to say lately, so I wanna catch you guys up to speed with all of his statements, with all of his addresses, just so we all hear his word, his words, because let's face it, it's literally difficult to even hear what Trump has to say because he's not on a lot of these mainstream media platforms, right? Even though he was back on Twitter and his first tweet back was his mugshot, was uh, him talking about his arrest. And Elon Musk even retweeted it, which I thought was pretty cool. So Donald J. Trump said this, the debate on Fox News had a hard time with the proverbial ratings. It was one of the lowest rated ever, if not the lowest. It showed that many of those participating are second tier and merely pretenders to the throne. Some of the answers were so bad, he says, with delivery even worse. The numbers were less than half what I had in 2016. Are you serious? And he said, not a good way to start the fight against Joe Biden and his lunatic. Well, I don't want to say that, but he said, we will not let this happen. M-A-G-A. -A. Yeah, Trump, he is saying M-A-G-A. Trump is soon going to go on his MAGA tour while Joe Biden is going on his N-A-P tour, his NAP tour. <laughs> uh, Joe Biden, um, I wanted to show you guys this photo really quick because Joe Biden... Um, like I said, he's he's literally already begun his NAP tour. He's napping. He's taking a snooze. He was even caught during the one of the Maui services, uh, the wildfire services. He I don't. Basically, he was fact checked that he wasn't sleeping, but he was like, he looked like he was dozing off. Um, now, Donald J. Trump also came out and talked about Joe Biden's impeachment. And he's basically urging Kevin McCarthy and all the House Republicans to go through with it or stop. Stop messing around. Stop horsing around. So Kevin McCarthy says the GOP could launch impeachment inquiry into Biden when House reconvenes. He said that the House could move forward with an impeachment inquiry into President Joe Biden if his administration doesn't provide documents Republicans say they want to review. The thing that holds up whether we'll do an impeachment inquiry. Provide us the documents we're asking, he said. The whole determination here is how the Bidens handle this. If they provide us the documents, 
there wouldn't be a need for an impeachment inquiry. But if they withhold the documents and fight like they have now to not provide the American public what they deserve to know, we will move forward with an impeachment inquiry when we come back into session. So Donald J. Trump had some words to say about that. He said this, the Republicans in Congress, though well-meaning, keep talking about an impeachment inquiry on Joe Biden. Look, he, he, the guy got bribed, he paid people off, and he wouldn't give $1 billion to Ukraine unless they... Uh, I don't really know exactly what he's saying, but... <laughs> he's basically saying... Um, gosh, I can't even say most of the stuff he said. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, he said, either impeach the bum or fade into oblivion. They did it to us. So he's basically saying to Kevin and the other House GOPs, like, do it or, like, get, like, let's move on. Let's stop saying, oh, we're going to impeach him. We're going to impeach him. Um, and then Donald J. Trump also said this. He said, rumors are strong in political circles that Ron DeSanctimonious, whose presidential run is, an, is a shambles and whose poll numbers have absolutely crashed, putting him third and fourth in some states will be dropping out of the presidential race in order to run in Florida against Rick Scott for the Senate. That's an interesting one, isn't it? So Trump is even saying that, uh, that uh, Ron DeSantis is going to drop out. What do you guys think about that? And then Melania Trump wanted to share some of these words that she said um, pretty recently about Trump's 2024 run because the news is saying that she doesn't support him. And I want to clear the air on this channel so make sure you thumbs it up so more people can actually see this is melania trump says this i support this is a quote i support my husband's decision to run for president of this wonderful nation she said this to breitbart news she added this was right after her husband announced it too trump announced it she added his achievements during his administration had a great effect on all of us and he can lead us towards success and prosperity again I await the day when my husband returns to lead an America that is characterized by peace, love, and security. And honestly, guys, with everything going on right now, I just wanted to give you guys a little message from me to you and just say thank you, a message of gratitude. I felt so just honestly blessed with my life right now and with you guys, especially just reading your guys' comments and going through and reading your guys' Uh, comments and messages and prayers that you, you, you've uh, said for me and um, it just means the world to me so from the bottom of my heart thank you so much and I hope honestly like one day we could do um, an event or like a meetup or something maybe I can host a, an event or, or maybe go to an event where you guys could come um, but for now my friends we're gonna end the video and we will keep our um, relationship online, <laughs> I guess. So it, please introduce yourself down below. Tell me about yourself. I'd love, to, I do read the comments. So we're gonna end the video here and we're gonna do one last Bible verse. But before I do, please click my link below to my second YouTube channel. Join me over there. And you, so you get my updates over there as well. Okay, this comes from the book of Ephesians 2, eight through 10. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not a result of works so that no one may boast. For we are his worksmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Amen, amen. Comment amen and that you stay to the end if you made it to the end. Otherwise, guys, we'll see you in the next video.